Patel, myself, and the nation's best make it this far. Tonight's Elite Eight contest should prove to be a great one between the Creighton Blue Jays and the Kansas Jayhawks. This place is rocking and rolling, baby! Dick, if you were coaching either one of these teams, what would your points of emphasis be? First off, they must be really picky about the type of shots they put up. Secondly, they can't allow the defense to get set. When you attack in transition, it forces the defense to scramble and occasionally lose their defensive assignments. Lastly, dribble penetration, Mr. Nestler. They must focus on stopping it. If they don't, they'll be in trouble. And it's time for the tip-off. As we tip into the first half, the butterflies are flying, baby! Work the perimeter. Spacing so important, get 15 to 17 feet apart. Looking for the pick now. Hey, the two-man game is great to watch when you have an intelligent dribbler and a skilled big man. For two. defensive play anticipating well when you're an anticipator you got a chance to do well a lot of guys they're reactors if you're a reactor you're one step behind the action excellent spacing that's so important to a good offensive set it's even more important to have talented guards like they are yeah that helps Defensive stance there against the spin move. One of the keys to beat him to the spot, and he did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. That was really a nonchalant pass. Get that sucker out of the game, man. <laughs> Jumper left side, 10 on the shot clock. Inside. They get an open look for three. Drains the shot. from the sideline. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. They're a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Hold on. Let's see that again. is important in a pick and roll situation. I tell you what pressure, look at him take the ball and let him put. No one stopped the basketball. Bishop receives the ball on the dribble, gives it up. Goes up for two. Up and in. The 
escape the trap. Number 30 receives the pass. On the outside. He unloads a three. Not there. Trying to pack it inside. And the ball goes out of play. The Jayhawks are considered pretty balanced, I think, when talking about their style of play, wouldn't you say, Dick? Brad, they like to balance the tap. They don't feel like they can always play up tempo or always play in the half court. Therefore, they mix it up and do a little bit of both. I think this style works for them. He puts it up. Oh, yes. Our three-prong attack tonight, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Brad Nessler with Dick Vitale and our friend EA, Aaron Andrews, checking in from the sideline. For the bucket, the land. We take a look here at each team's tempo, Dick. Hey, the key to this game is not just who will set the tempo, but who can control it throughout the game. The small forward gets the ball. Hey, dodge one there, Brad. Goes right through the trap. He wasn't afraid of that trap. Kicks it out. He puts up the J. Number 30 is feeling great out there right now. He may be in the zone right now, Brad. They're working around the perimeter. Tries for two. Way off target. Gave it up. Both teams are looking to get something going here. On the dribble, gives it up. For two. Up and in! Alexander handles the pass. Gave it up. Ten on the shot clock. On the dribble, gives it up. He pulls up with a jumper. Foul call. Jones makes his debut into the game. I think this kid comes in with fire, Brad. He really knows how to bring it. Goes to the free throw line. First shot, good. Neal comes in for his first go around tonight, Dick. I tell you, the offense doesn't miss a beat when this guy comes in. Makes a pass up, kicks it out. The ball goes out of bounds. Number 21 going in for the first time tonight. He will give this defense a different kind of threat at this position. Smart move. Up and inside. Wide, wide open. In and out. Ooh. Tough luck. I'll tell you, you missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle. Was locking on a box. He takes the open jumper. Number 11 hits the three. They work it around the perimeter. A frustration right there. Goes up 
for two. The lay -in. The center receives the ball. Dumps it in. He intercepts it. The small forward receives the pass. Looking for a good shot. He fires from long range. He nails the bucket. They're going to put a stop to this run momentarily with a timeout, Dick. Hey, it's good they did. Things aren't going the way they want right now. They've got a weapon to score. Change might be in order, don't you think, Dick? I wouldn't be surprised if they changed things up a little bit, Brad. They're working around the perimeter. Blocked! No good. Tries for two. We'll be able to use their tempo and come out with a win here, Dick. Well, the world comes down to execution. If you get the points on the board playing your style, your opponent will have to make adjustments that may affect their tempo and what they will do well. With the fadeaway, 10 seconds to put out the shot. Up and in! Gave it up. Puts up the jumper. Knocked it down. The center receives the pass. And the ball goes out of bounds. Dick, here we are about midway in the first half. Good ball game. Uh, both teams look like they have a chance to win this thing. I tell you, what makes the NCAA so special is the fact that one bad night, the party's over. And it's going to be a shame that one of these clubs are going to go to the locker room and their season's going to be all, all over. Got some room. Ten on the shot clock. That spin move's not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. Defensive player beats him to the spot. Got some handles of feed. For two. Off the rim and no good. Goes up for two. They won't let that and a chance for a three-point play. The old-fashioned way, as we say. Hey, Brad, you want to get to the line early and often. You end up getting your opponents into foul trouble, and it's also an opportunity to get some points. They've got them trapped here, Dick. Yeah, hey, they got them in some trouble, Brad. Great composure to pass it despite the trap, Brad. Backcourt violation call. A little bit of a mental lapse by the offense that time, Dick. teams are looking to get something going here. 
looking for a good shot. on the shot clock. Bishop receives the ball with a bucket. The basket catch for the deuce and they'll send him to the line. He's a meat and potatoes kind of guy, Brad. Was the main basket the meat or the potatoes dip? Hey, that was the meat and the potatoes. Now he's going to the line for the gravy. Potential for a three-point play. He sinks it. A great trap initiated by the defense. He passes it out of the trap. Moss may have escaped one there. The ball goes out of play. Boy, assisted turnover ratios are big, and that's a big turnover. I'll tell you, they're turning the ball over too often. You can't win when you do that. Spell some trouble. And we'll trap really well there, Brad. Mahoney receives the ball. Isolated on the outside. They're working around the arc looking for the open jumper. Tries for two. The Jayhawks have a hot hand right now that's scoring for them at the moment. They need to keep feeding the ball. It's simple. the feed down low. Now the turnaround jumper. Nothing but nylon. Nice smooth turnaround jumper. The only negative, he's falling away. If he misses, he's got no rebound in the building. Number 54 takes the feed. Cross court. Ten on the shot clock. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Alexander may have escaped one there for two. What should they do here, Nick? I'm going to time out and see what's going on out there. There's definitely some miscommunication happening. Number 54 with the ball. With a jumper. Missed it. Alexander receives the pass. Well, I think the coach is going to have to make some changes here, Dick. The players are starting to look really tired out there. They work the perimeter. two way off target on the outside ten seconds showing on the shot clock the missed shot Look at that spacing. Well, I love that block shot, Brad. Really gives you a lot of momentum. Pushes it up. He shoots from right of the circle. Dick, you think they're going to stay this hot? Hey, it doesn't look like they're slowing down, my friend. Momentary look from three-point land. And has 
has it rejected. Defense did a great job with the block shot. And they come up with a steal. He telegraphed that pass. Mahoney handles the pass. Working it around the perimeter. Number 14, when he gets the foul and the layup will count it. Hey, way to play strong, my man. Way to play strong. Chance to get an easy one here. Cash it in. That line is really being good to him tonight, Dick. That line's always good, Brad. These guys just have to make good use of it. That trap could spell some trouble. It loses the trap there, pushes it up. We've got a timeout, Dick, and I'll be back in a moment. That's a good T.O., baby. surprised that the schemes change somewhat. He puts up the three ball. It's no good. For two, off the rim and no good. Fast break opportunity here. Great transition bucket. Now let's take a look here at the tempos for both these teams tonight. Well, it looks like both of them are going to be battling to see who can control the tempo and put pressure on the opponent. Cross court. He almost found himself in some trouble there, Brad. They look to get it to the inside. He attempts the jump shot, knocks it down. And there's sort of a snapshot of our game tempo. A snail's pace, Brad. That's the tempo of this game. And if that's your philosophy, so be it. Gave it up. Great composure to pass it out of the trap. Goes up for two. Perfectly executed. Handles the feed. Kicks it out. Well, here's a look at the tempo for both teams tonight, Dick. You know, it's crucial, Brad, that both teams stick to their style of play. If not, the chances of them winning definitely decreases. Bed the low block. Blocks the shot. Way off target. The land. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important to 15 to 17 feet apart. He's in the clear. He is just lighting it up, Dick. He's beating his man to the spot and hit the shots, Brad. The defender is still applying great ball pressure, Brad. Cross court. Ten on the shot clock. Inside. Turnaround jumper. It's nothing but nylon. Nice smooth turnaround jumper. The only negative, he's falling away. If he misses, he's got no rebound in the building. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. There's a bad pass right to the defender. The shooting guard with the ball. They'll work it around the arc. Let's see if they go two for one here, Dick. On the dribble, gives it up.
rejects it. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. Moving it around the perimeter. Tries for two. Up and in. Attempts the Hail Mary. He misses it. At the half, the Jayhawks are down by 24. Best play of that half. Let's take another look. What are you seeing so far in terms of points of emphasis? Well, Brad, the points of emphasis I brought up at the beginning of the game fall in line with their team style of play. If they don't execute these points, they're going to have a tough time winning games. All right then, Mr. Vitale, let's see what changes will be made for the second half. Number 30 is having, I guess, an average game. He didn't have a great first half, but as a star player, he knows... The offense begins off the sideline inbounds. Let's check in courtside with Aaron Andrews. Aaron? Well, Brad and Dick, as we know, this is it. Now, I could hear from both teams' huddles the excitement. They are ready to play and leave it all out on the floor. This is going to be an exciting second half. All right, thanks, Aaron. On the outside. Escapes the trouble and makes a pass out. They're working around the perimeter. Ten seconds on the shot clock. He bangs it in for another score. And the hits just keep coming on, baby. Neal handles the pass. Trying to come up with a steal, and they do. Great pass out of the trap, Brad. Picked out of the air. The power forward receives the ball. Cross court. He beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork really excellent on a post play. Point guard with the ball. Eludes the trap there. Cross court. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that blocked shot. Off the rim and no good. Up and inside. Obvious. That layup will count for two plus the harm. Hey, he sized the defender up and protected the wall going in for the layup. Boy, was that beautiful. The Jayhawks are going to be at the line for the first time in this game. Lots of rim, but not in. The center takes the feed. I tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had a great angle, was locking on a box. Great anticipation defensively. Gave it up. Tries for two. The land. On the dribble, gives it up. Number 
He goes right past the trap. He wasn't afraid of that trap. Number 11 receives the ball. He goes for the trifecta. 10 on the shot clock. Braun receives the pass. Gave it up. And the ball goes out of play. The offense sets up from the sideline. Garrett handles the pass. They go with the entry pass on the post. Turnaround jumper. I tell you, what a nice turnaround jump shot. Soft as velvet, fading away, impossible to block. The shooting guard with the ball. Goes up for two. Off the rim and no good. He dribbles around the trap. Right around the trap. Eludes the trap there. The center with the ball. On the dribble, gives it up. Dickey still applying great pressure on the dribble. Goes up for two. The Blue Jays have found a player who cannot seem to miss it. And he's on fire. Now they work it around the perimeter. The ball goes out of bounds. Boy, assist to turnover ratios are big, and that's a big turnover. I'll tell you, they're turning the ball over too often. You can't win when you do that. Looking for a good shot. Steals the pass. Dotson receives the ball. Cross court. Here comes the ball screen. Dotson receives the pass. Cross court. Ten seconds to get a shot off. Bishop handles the feed. Kicks it out. They get an open three. Not a wise decision to take that shot there. That shot was definitely ill-advised. Spin move not successful, Dick. I did a great job on the defense, not allowing him to make that turn. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with the block shot. Up and in. Coming inside. seconds to get it off. Way off target. Long lead pass. Cross court. Picked out of the air. Pushes it up. For the bucket. The land.
he steps up to the line. Gets his first. Set in. Ten seconds left on the shot clock. Cross court. For the bucket. They still don't score. The small forward gets the ball. Escape the trap. Hey, dodge one there, Brian. Braun handles the feed. Looking for a good shot. He pulls the trigger. Nope. For the deuce. Up and in. What a highlight, man. Better yet, strong candidate for our Pontiac game-changing performance. Isolated on the outside, they're working around the arc, looking for the open jumper. Spin. I tell you, feel the defensive player on your hip going one way, and you spin back the other way. Cross court. you to pass it out of the trap. Lots of room. Dick, they are on a deadly tear right now outside the yard. Everyone's in on the action tonight, baby. Number 22 takes the pass. They go into the low block. He passes it out of the trap. Tries for two. No good. For two. Off the rim and no good. As we continue to track the game's tempo. These teams are selectively pushing the ball and looking for transition opportunities. Two. The shot drops and the foul. Great concentration on the shot, Brad. All right, let's check in third member of our team again. Here's Aaron Andrews. Brad and Dick, what a turn of events down here on the sidelines. The coaches and the players, they are feeling the heat, the message from the bench, defensive stops, and do it now. Thanks, Aaron. Great composure to pass it despite the trap, Brad. A little two-man action. He takes the wide-open shot. He misses the J. The point guard with the ball. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Steals a pass. The Jayhawks now looking for a basket in transition. The transition results with a basket. They work the perimeter. Number 14 is whistled for the foul. 
Well, Dick, let's take a look at the bench performances so far. What do you think? I did as a coach, the more you can get from your bench players, the better. Sometimes that's how you acquire a big lead. Games get interesting once your starters get tired, and it's time for the bench players to come in and be productive. On the outside. Tries for two. Number 11 receives the ball. On the dribble, gives it up. He takes the open jumper. He misses from long range. Cross court. With tons of room. And he's no good from three point range. That's basic. That spin move's not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. Defensive player beats him to the spot. Well, who's team Temple went out? That's the question right here, Dan. You know, Brad, Temple's always important. Every team has their philosophy, and it's up to the players to follow the game plan. And a momentary look from three-point land. Now the turnaround jumper. He gets another shot off and in. Hey, this show is about to start, Brad. Gave it up. Goes up for two. Hey, they're going to have to watch that. Fatigue will make players do some silly things. Working it around the perimeter. For two. Way off target. The point guard with the ball. Dumps it in. He goes up with it. Braun picks up the foul. Making the most of the free ones. Well, the arc looked good. An absolute slaughter for them on the boards tonight. Somebody better put a body on these guys. What's the perimeter? Spacing so important to 15 to 17 feet apart. That spin move's not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. Defensive player beats him to the spot. Mitchell handles the feed. We're going to move it around the perimeter. Ten seconds to put it up. Now the turnaround jumper. I tell you, what a nice turnaround jump shot. Soft as velvet, fading away, possibly a block. Too physical. Number 13 goes to the line for the first time. Gets the first shot. Gets the second shot. They have found their stroke at the strike tonight, Nick. This has always been an excellent free throw shooting bunch. 
passes it out of the trap. Excellent spacing, that's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. Ten seconds on the clock. Blocks the shot. And he misses the shot. Cross court. He shoots the jumper and come up short. On the dribble, gives it up. It might be safe just to start that bus up. I think this one's over. It is over, Brad. I'm no math major, but even I can figure this one out. really well there, Brad. He intercepts it. Joan receives the ball. He almost found himself in some trouble there, Brad. The small forward handles the feed. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, really doing a great job packing it in. Then a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. For the deuce, the land. He's just not giving the effort on defense. He's not putting up a good fight at all. Point guard with the ball. Moving it around the perimeter. Number 14's modest performance is bringing down his confidence level. Hey, he may need some encouragement from one of his teammates. Dumps it in. Intercepted. Pushes it up. Hits off the lazy pass. Pushes it up. Tries for two. Up and in. There's the tempo for the game thus far. We've seen a combination of both short and long possessions here, Brad. Nothing wrong with that, if that's your team's ideal style of play. On the outside. He goes with a baby hook. Grabs the board. As soon as you get that defensive rebound, you should be looking to push the ball. They work it around the perimeter. He looks for the bomb. He seems absolutely adverse to taking any good shots right now. And with that, his teammates may be getting a little bit frustrated. Up and inside. And the ball goes out of bounds. And that's one too many turnovers. Yeah, those turnovers are really a nightmare, especially when they lead to layups. The shooting guard with the ball. Kicks it out. With the jump hook. I tell you, waste any time. He's got the ball in the right position. And then what it does, it keeps the defensive player away from blocking the shot when you make that turn. I tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on a box. the shot clock. The 
baseline jumper. He drains the jumper. Let's go to the third member of our broadcast team. Here's Aaron Andrews. Brad, some of the players told me before the game they felt their biggest key was to get the ball inside. They said, we have the personnel to score in the paint, and that's what makes us a big threat. I think she's right about that, Richie. Oh, I don't think there's any doubt about it, Brad. We've said so many times, you know, great post play, you got a chance to really to win. Well, Richard, why don't you recap our points of emphasis? Every game, there's a plan, Brad. If you execute the game plan, you usually win. Occasionally, you'll play a better team, and they'll just beat you because they're more skilled. However, with a solid game plan and the ability to play your team style, anything can happen. Folks, it's all about controlling the tempo. If your team is playing their style of play, usually good things are going to happen. All right, Dick, this one's over. One team moves on, one team's got to go home, and that's the sad part about the NCAA tournament. Well, the better team won because they protected the basketball. They made sure they converted on the free throw line. They did all the little intangibles we talked about, and that was the difference in the game. Creighton emerges victorious in this one. I'll tell you, these kids are having a time of their lives as their childhood dreams come to reality. Hey, they're playing the next game in the magical Final Four. Brad Nessler saying so long for my partners Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews. Thanks for joining us.